I am so immensely curious about this video, and with that curiosity comes fear. I genuinely have no idea what Starburst the Forces of Evil is, what the premise is, who Star is, how bad the Forces of Evil are, are they actually evil? Are they actually working against Star? I assume so. Is Star some sort of superhero? I... Your guess is as good as- no, your guess is gonna be better, actually, cause you know. The only thing I know is that just about every time there's something that y'all want me to do an out of context reaction to, it just ends up being nightmare fuel, and that's fine, you know, Matthew's been having a few too many dreams lately, things have been too pleasant, it's time for some nightmares, right? You can't have good without experiencing bad, so it's like, you know, when things are so bad, it just makes me appreciate the good times. Does that make sense? Am I justifying psychological self-harm? Yes, but also, it'll be a fun video. <laughs> I feel like I'm already uh, struggling, but that's cool, man. It might be great. Who knows? This might be the most happy, wholesome, fun show that's ever existed on the face of the earth. <sighs> Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there if that's your thing. There's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. And for the record, all of these out of context moments are from season one. I wanted to see how unhinged it was in its very first season. Well, I don't think I can put it off any longer. Is there anything else that I can say? Or do I just have to hit play? Far, far away in a First scene? Muni lived a princess, Star Butterfly. Oh. Long, long ago lived a princess named Star Butterfly. And then she just died. It was squished by the castle walls. End of show, actually. I'm guessing that that was there to show that she's not that graceful. Star Butterfly, though. What a name. I'm not judging. I mean, I'm judging a little bit, but... <laughs> and now, Brittany Wong, who became head cheerleader on her own and not because her dad made a generous donation to the school. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, like, whether or not that's true, you didn't need to chuck that in, you know? In fact, you putting it in there kind of makes it seem more likely that it is the case, because it just seems suspicious to mention. Like, let's say I was doing a speech at, like, VidCon or something, and the MC gets up there and goes, please welcome Matthew McKenna, who was not murdered 16 people, okay? He's sick of the rumors, he's sick of everybody saying that, he's never killed anyone ever. Well, enjoy his speech. <laughs> You'd think, well, I mean, man's definitely done some murder. So oh, my you... lord, he's a short king. I meant like short king, you know, but... He's also a king. Oh my god. So, you say you're from another dimension. That's something they're willing to divulge? And you said there was no magic on Earth. That's, that's, that's me, okay? That is freaking me. I'm always saying, like, what do we define as magic, you know? If we went back in time and said to some medieval person, yeah, I've got like a magic rectangle in my hand that tells me anything I want to know. Oh, how does it work? It communicates with things that are floating in fucking space and sends back down beams that in like, what, I don't even know, half a second? They'd be like, I don't know who you are, I don't know why you're talking to me, all I know is that you're insane. I can't be the only one that gets all like monkey brain about technology and thinks it's magic. I'm like, ah, oh, there's a, there's a magic box that's recording my face. Listen, we are not going to be besties. We are not even going to be second best. Two things. Floating unicorn head? No, there's just something about me and floating heads apparently. We don't mesh. We never will mesh. As the floating head says, we'll never be second besties. And guess what, floating head? I don't want to be. You know who I do want to be besties with is Jenny Slate, who clearly voices this. I recognize that voice immediately. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious, y'all. Oh, that... Besties, that's not even a thing. It could oh, be. Oh, you want to make this a thing? Look here, Earth Tard. It's, it said, it said, hey girl, like H-A-Y. Do you get it? Cause it's a horse. Look here, Earth Tard. Earth Tard? Really important to me. You mess that up, are you gonna get the horn? Just casually threatening a child. Real good. Later. I don't particularly want to know what the, what the f that was. <laughs> Why was the floating unicorn head threatening a small child? 
I don't know, but I kind of doubt it was necessary, although I will say it's useful because it just justifies my views that floating heads... No! You're whining about a lousy grade? I finally got a guy with a... Ew! 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 Left me a Ew. duck! A duck? The duck isn't the important part! <laughs> I guess I'm doomed to dry land. I guess I'm doomed to dry land, like, sh I mean, you, I, you could also get a boat yourself, or maybe swim. I finally got a guy with the boat and he left me at the dock. Is it meant to be like, left me at the altar sort of thing? I don't know. Why was she just like, spitting all over Star? And I guess, furthermore, what is this weird one Star has? And why was she just chewing it? She's so weird. But so is everyone else, apparently. Man's eyebrows are legit on his fringe. Are they... Maybe just the whole head of hair is one giant eyebrow. That is a horrifying thought. I love They carry their babies on their backs. She's spitting facts. Even if she's very, very strange, opossums are very cute. And I also want to say the Australian possum is so adorable. Whenever I mention to Americans that I think possums are adorable, they're all like, oh my god! But Google an Australian possum and you'll agree. To be fair though, I'll just say it, American possums also cute. Fight me! Oh, okay. I don't like those close-ups. I really don't. That's very uncomfortable. Narwhal blast. Narwhal blast. She was fighting the very things that they are. I mean, I'm happy for those two, but I'm unhappy for myself for having to see those intense close-ups of the eye bags. First, we're gonna destroy that little punk, Jeremy. Where are you? Yeah. Then we're gonna get Jackie Lynn Thomas to like you. Yeah. This time. And then we're gonna slaughter all humans and feast on their bowels. Yeah. Whoa, my God, it's on his hand. I mean, uh, we win the tournament. Yeah. Well, he is gullible also. Why the body horror? Huh? It's like a, a tentacle dangling out of his arm that wants to slaughter mankind? And I really, really, really dislike that voice saying things like we're gonna get whatever her name is, Jackie Lynn, to like you. It just makes everything sound sinister and creepy. Not that it needs the voice or the words to seem sinister and creepy. I'll say again, it's a tentacle coming out of his arm. <sighs> oh, oh. So many brave young men. Does she... So many tragic losses. What? That's the sad face. <laughs> so she's from a different dimension. Does that? I'm assuming that means she doesn't know certain. Does football not exist in her dimension? So she's like, oh, these must be soldiers fighting over the coveted, elongated ball. This may be all my fault. What? What, what is he grabbing? What did you... Oh, lord. <laughs> Yeah, just, okay, fair enough. Just pretend it's not, I guess if you can't do anything about it, you just, why not? Close the blinds, and if you can't see it, you know that it can't see you. That's like the real equivalent of hiding under your sheets because then the monsters just magically can't get you, right? But isn't she meant to fight the forces of it? Maybe, she, maybe that's why she doesn't care. She's just like, oh, this isn't even that much of a danger. It's just freaky as shit. Close the blinds. <gasps> Don't worry, mom, I can handle it. <laughs> The... Nothing... Nothing else was on fire other than the rainbow. What? The more I think about that, the weirder that is, because that... The rainbow isn't a physical being, it's just... It's just... It's just light. She lit light on fire. What? How does... <laughs> Not the city? No. No, just the, the floating, hovering rays of light are burning. I do not breathe. A leg! But I run. A leg! And jump! A leg! And... <laughs> Wait, how could you possibly know that? The internet. Internet? <laughs> you should look it up. Now, come on, come on, open up. I love that that's almost exactly what I was talking about before, saying about how a rectangle that's magic would freak people out. That's incredible. I foreshadowed that. But I do love that they didn't even bother. They didn't even try to hide it. They're just like, we're just going to Google this answer and we're just going to get you real straight away. So, open. Wow. That's some, those are some terrifying, that one's wearing a skull of like one of the other creatures. Uh, whatever, man. Three eyes! What's with all these new monsters? What? These are all the same monsters I always bring. 
Uh, I don't know. I've never seen this dude in my life. You mean you've never met Man Arm? Man Arm. Hey. Wow, that's. <laughs> we. But. Before, I was talking about how freaky the squid arm was, and I somehow they managed to make just the arm of a man freaky. <laughs> but also, the guy kind of seemed chill. I'm not gonna lie, he's like, hey. So, <laughs> don't mind the fact that I'm choking you, I only have one good arm. Oh. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh my god. You kissed a ninja. <laughs> That's what he's laughing at? <laughs> Why would you laugh at that? It's clear. <laughs> That's clearly just a silly little shirt that you get at an event. I don't understand. One, why he would find it so amusing because it's just meant as a stupid little joke. And two, why he would be ashamed of it. Like, you, you, you got the shirt, man. You chose to wear it. Wouldn't you just be like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> but I do love how his smile just dropped and everything faded away. Like his entire reason for existence and happiness disappeared as soon as he lost someone to make fun of. Hey, you know the rules. Keep your So she's just magic. Is it that hard to just be a little How did you dust bust that up, bro? I'm organized. Dust busted a razor. And well, that's pretty much my system. Fair enough. I get it, you know? I mean, I'm not out here telling y'all to be messy, but like, you know, at least if you are messy, you know, if you have it in an organized pile, you know that that's where the mess is, okay? I don't feel personally attacked, you do! Oh, my lord, it's, is it? It's, I mean, it's effectively projectile. I don't even want to finish the sentence, man. You know, that's just, when you know what chicken eggs are and where and how they come from, that just becomes unpleasant. Let's say that. I wallpapered my locker with pictures of you. That's oh, weird. Yeah. Because I wallpapered my locker with pictures of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that went from exceedingly creepy and unnerving to actually adorable and wholesome real quick. I thought that she was just like a stalker or something, but I guess they're besties. Mom, don't tell me what to do. I don't have to listen. Yeah, sick beats. I'm gonna live in my car at the school. Hey, hey. Okay. What am I meant to say to that? You know, man's just singing about living in his car, I guess. Which, for the record, is classified as being homeless. So he's like, yeah, mom can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna live in my car and be homeless. What's it to you? <laughs> now I know why so many people like being homeless. Marker one, what are you doing? He's not even, yeah, he's using his leg. What was, what was that response? Sorry. <gasps> Did he not expect him to be there or something? And look at this, he's literally got his knees to the ground. This isn't even a push up. What is he like, just, just doing kickbacks or something? And uh, did he not hear these people walk in the room? Like one's literally sitting on the couch. How do you not notice that when they walk in? But he doesn't even like express anything. He just goes, <gasps> <laughs> okay, uh, that was my fault. I assumed you knew this, but things are you uncomfortable. Can't eat children. <laughs> Not even annoying ones. Ne never. Maybe. Maybe I have. I don't even know. But I just feel like never in my life have I heard a character tell another character specifically that they can't eat children. You know, I mean, it's it's just a good rule for life. You know, in fact, I would even go so far as to say it's a rule that we should all abide by. You know, so if you feel tempted, if you're out there and you're like, you know, what would be great right now is to just eat a child. Don't. You shouldn't do that. Why? Because eating children is wrong. I know. Wow, I was surprised to any of us, but you gotta stop. Okay? Don't. Don't eat kids. <laughs> what the f Billy? <laughs> you see, we're both big girls. We got the same highs and lows, the same east and west. You can hardly tell us apart, except for in the face. Can we phone. stop getting the, the gross ups, please? That'd be nice. It's a lot. You know, it's a lot. They're showing a lot of detail. Uh, a lot of details that I didn't want to see, never wanted to see, and never will want to see. But that's okay. You know, I, I, can, I can live with her. Reach for the stars and achieve that's her name. <gasps> Just blasted a hole in the roof. Pegasus feathers. I have always dreamed of having a skylight in here. 
Well, I mean, at least she's positive. I would maybe say that it would be better advised to have like some glass or something over that in order to make it a skylight, but I guess if you don't mind just a whole heap of bugs flying in your house, why not? Just blast a hole through your roof, have a skylight. In fact, if you don't have enough windows or doors, you can just do the same thing to a wall. I haven't used glass in years. Besides, you gotta trust me to do the right thing for my- Is she- Is she- Is she- is she talking to the wand? Maybe. But if she, if, if the wand is like alive, then it makes it really weird that she was chewing on it before. Let's go in it. All the time. <laughs> that. What is he? Is, oh God. I don't see why not. Why is she looking at him so cutely? They're just shoving everything down the toilet. A pig! That's uncomfortable. I don't- I didn't like that close-up again. Again, this, this show and it's goddamn close-ups. But also that shot where he's sitting there with his hands over the bowl and his eyes so wide. Tell me, man doesn't just look like a cat. That's all he is. He's a cat king. A king? King cat. You mean? Keep your oh. 90 degrees. Oh joy, you know what I was just thinking was I was sitting there going, oh man, it's been too long since I've seen that freaky ass disembodied unicorn head sitting there talking to me and saying some weird sh**. Oh boy, I need more of that in my life. Could you please, Starburst the Forces of Evil, bring back the freaky ass unicorn head? Oh, you did? Wonderful. Ah, oh, all my dreams have come true. Or is it all my nightmares? Keep your pinkies at 90 degrees. She sounds even creepier. Don't even have pinkies. She doesn't have pinkies. But she didn't say keep our pinkies at 90 degrees. She said keep your pinkies. She's giving you advice, bro. But also, why was the head talking like that? I wasn't doing that before. And now it's like, keep your pinkies at 90 degrees. What would a normal person without a wand do? Work, 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 Why is it a dolphin? It's not a person. Work, work, work. <laughs> oh my god. Rihanna? On your own. Hey! Get out of our yard, you scoundrel! I just She so casually What the hell man? She so casually just shoots her one it's her, it's like a fire up. She just attacked a guy with lasers. I feel like she's meant to be like good, you know? It's her versus the forces of evil, which would imply that she is a force of good. Does it seem like a force of good would do this? I just drag an egg somewhere else. I would say Probably not. Enthusiastically, that's what I'd say. Probably not. And yet here we are, Star. You're just shooting your firearm at people in the street. Actually, that dude was just trying to do his job. He was trying to do you a favor. All I need to know is like, what the hell kind of dimension is she from? Because I kind of assumed it was like a parallel dimension sort of thing where things were pretty similar, but clearly, clearly not. Because she doesn't know about so many things. She doesn't know about football or male men. What's going on there? And her dad, who like is, is a king, right? Because she's a princess, doesn't know what a toilet is. What, what do they do with, you know, just in the street, in a bucket, perhaps? Or do they not even do that in their dimension? I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. This show did have its fair share of weird things in this little compilation, but what I will say is I feel like the more horrifying thing is all of the implications that come with these things, right? All the questions that are left unanswered. And all the questions that I don't even, I don't even know if I want answers to. Like, do I want to know what they do with their their, 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 their excretions if they don't have a toilet. I have no clue why I said it like that, but I don't regret it. If they don't have a, a toilet, if it's an unfam- or does the dimension have toilets? Everyone has a toilet except for the king for some reason. Anyway, I guess I'm intrigued. It was certainly interesting and a weird concept. I just kind of feel as though this show has given me a lot of information, most of which I didn't need or want, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I guess I'll just carry it with me in case any of that comes in handy for whatever reason, you know? I hope so. I hope you hope so too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.